Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin. Welcome back to my channel. So, this is going to be part 5, which is also the final part of my How to Solve a Rubik's Cube for Beginner series. In the previous videos, I've shown you how to solve the first two layers and the yellow side. So if you haven't seen those videos, make sure to go check them out right now or you are not going to understand what is going on. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve this last layer. So it is going to look like this, right here. And that is all. The cube is just going to be solved after this final step. Now I just wanted to say congratulations to everyone who has made it this far. It's truly amazing and I'm really proud of you guys. Now there is one more step left, but I'm sure you guys can do it. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So just like last video, I am going to be splitting this part into two steps. Step one, permutating all of the corners. As you should remember from last video, we oriented all of the corners, which meant to put all of the yellows on the yellow side. Well now we are going to put them all in the correct spot by permutating them. So that is going to be step one. Step two is going to be permutating all of the edges, so solving them correctly. It should look something like this, right here. And well, the cube is solved. Now we will begin with step one, which is permutating all of the corners. Now there are two cases you can get. One where one set of corners on one side is already permutated correctly. The second case being where there are no corners permutated correctly. But that's okay. There is going to be an algorithm that you will need to learn for step one, but both cases require the same algorithm, so it's okay, there's nothing to worry about. Now before I show you the algorithm, I need to make sure you are holding the cube in the correct position. Beginning with case one, you will see that you already have two corners matching on the same side. Now we are going to bring those them to their correct side. So since they are green corners, they will go on the green side. Now you need to make sure you are holding yellow on top and the side with the matched corners on the right side. So just like this. Now the algorithm I'm about to show you guys is a little bit longer and a little more difficult, but it's still actually pretty easy to memorize. And to make it even easier for you guys, I'm gonna sort of split it into four parts. So we'll begin with the algorithm. It goes like this. R, U, R prime, F prime. That's the first part. R, U, R prime, U prime. That's the second part. R prime, F, R. That's the third part. And then R, U prime, R prime. That is the last part. Now we will turn all the corners to their correct side. So orange with orange, green with green, red with red, and blue with blue. And as you can see, we have permutated all of the corners correctly. Now I will show you the other case. So as you can see, there are no corners already permutated correctly. So it doesn't matter where we hold the cube. We can hold it on this side or this side. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to choose this side right here. But remember, it does not matter where you hold it. And with that being in mind, we're going to perform the same algorithm as before. R, U, R prime, F prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R prime, F, R. R, U prime, R prime. And as you can see, we have now permutated these two corners. So now we're going to do what we did before and put the two match corners on their correct side. So green with green. Put that side on the right with yellow on top. And we're going to do the algorithm again. R, U, R prime, F prime. R, U, R prime, U prime. R prime, F, R. R, U prime, R prime. And as you can see, we have permutated all of the corners, so we'll just move them to their side. So you have successfully completed step one, which is permutating the corners. So now we will move on to step two, which is permutating the edges. And for this last step, there are two cases you can get. One, where the one side is completely solved, and you only need to rotate around three edges. And two, where none of these sides are solved, and you have to rotate around all four edges. The first case can look either like this, or this. The second case can look either like this, or like this. But I just want to say that it does not matter whatsoever what case you get because they all require the same algorithm. I just wanted to kind of show you all these cases just for background knowledge. So we will begin with case one where there's one solved side and three sides that only need to rotate around one edge. So we are going to put the solved side in the back 
with yellow on top. And this is how the algorithm goes. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And sometimes you will have to do the algorithm twice. But remember, put the solve side in the back and the yellow on top and do the algorithm. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And as you can see, we have to do it again. So we'll do it one more time. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. So the algorithm is just a little long, but with just a little bit of practice, it will be very easy to memorize. You'll see. Now we will move on to the next case where there are no sides solved and you have to rotate around all four edges. So this case is a little bit easier in a way because it doesn't matter what position you hold the cube in, but it does also require you to do the algorithm like one or two more times. So like I already said, with this case, since there are no sides solved, it does not matter where you hold the cube. So I'm just going to pick right here and we will perform the algorithm. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And as you can see, we have this case, which is the first case. So we are going to hold the solve side in the back and perform the algorithm with yellow on top. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And as you can see, the cube is solved. Now I will show you this last case just for some more background knowledge, but really it is just the exact same thing as the case I had just showed you. So since there are no sides already solved, we can hold the cube wherever. So I'm gonna pick right here. We'll do the algorithm. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. As you can see, we have this case where one side is solved. So we're going to put that in the back and do the algorithm with yellow on top. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And the cube is solved. Now I just want to note that the last cases I showed you will sometimes require you to do the algorithm three times, but that's okay for the cube will eventually be solved. So don't worry if that happens. I'm going to show you those last two algorithms again, just so I can really get them into your mind. So with the first algorithm for permutating corners, remember to put the two matching corners on the right side with yellow on top, or if you have no matching corners, just hold the cube wherever. But we're going to do the algorithm, which is R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, R, U prime, R prime. And the last part, which is permutating the edges, the algorithm is this, the solve side in the back, yellow on top, or if there is no solve side, then you just hold it wherever. And the algorithm goes like this, M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. So that is all. So I just wanted to say congratulations to everyone who has made it this far. You have now completely solved the Rubik's Cube. For what probably used to seem completely impossible to you guys, it was now just made a lot easier. With just a little bit of practice, it will seem so easy for you guys. So that is going to be all for this video and this series. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, as well as turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos on my channel. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video, or even better, if you enjoyed this whole series. Also, if you found it helpful, or if you have any cool new video ideas for the future. Make sure to share this video with friends, family, and anyone else you know who is trying to solve the Rubik's Cube. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the other videos in the series. I will link them down in the description below. Also, we're really almost at 50 subscribers, so let's try to break that barrier. I know we can do it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye!